that. Please don't do the ass fit. Please don't go on the girl trip. He can't do that in the middle of the relationship. Right. He has to start right. it from the beginning yeah. and have a boundary. And I if agree. you respect him and you love him enough, you're not going to cross the boundary. Exactly. Yeah, okay, agree, that's a better way to put it. If he okay. does it yeah. in the middle of it, it's he better. probably did something wrong. That's yeah. Better. Yeah, 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 yeah. If he did, or or, or he just be like crossing the boundary. You know, yeah. you could be like switching it up and doing things that you normally. But you wasn't can't doing. respect the guy who's trying to change it up mid the game. I will. I will because at I feel this like most point, people can. at that point, you're communicating with me. If you can be a grown adult and communicate, it's up to me at that point to decide if I'm going to accept that, you mm -hmm. know, and try to make mm -hmm. some type of compromise. You know what I'm saying? And that's a very grown way of looking really at yeah. it for sure. That was a very and, grown way of yeah, looking yeah. at it. That's human nature too, because say you know on your last girl trip, something was questionable. So yeah. now, okay, now it's a boundary. I don't want you going on girls. Trip. Yeah, I can yeah. see right. that too. If I don't know, how can I fix it? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Here, go to the next one. What's the ten? Uh, from Alex, dude. What's <laughs> up, Alex? Starting from the from the Lola. What? Starting from <laughs> me. From you. Okay, six, five, five, four, eight. Ooh. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. uh, did he ever DM you the other day? <laughs> Seven. I was gonna say, don't say that like uh, a Ozzy. Uh, nine. Nice. Oh, he's he thinking you're nine. I appreciate that. Hey, honestly, some work. of the stuff he said, I would yeah. I would give you a good number two on a relationship I'm wise. I would say you are a good number, <laughs> a four you. and a five. But yeah, okay. sometimes they like to give numbers, guys. I'm sorry, we can't stop it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's see, Alex. Let's get Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Hey, bro, bro. Honestly, Alex, ladies, y'all do not want to say that. This guy is Alex. A number. This guy's one of the biggest G's in Dallas. I'm not even kidding. He's like the he, biggest G. Post yeah, your pick, fam. I, yeah. not, I mean, he can't post a pick in here, but y'all are more than welcome to go at him. He's definitely a, hey, a very attractive. Hey, drop that dude. IG. Let it. me see right now. <laughs> Alex, you gotta Alex, add all these girls. Alex, what's your Instagram? Like, it's A L I X. Y'all will find him. He's gonna be in there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get to the last part where I like to um, I like to uh, rate y'all as a number. Um, well, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm not gonna. Uh, Sometimes yeah, I'm not gonna do that. We'll just do. do no, it, no, no, no. I'm gonna give y'all a number based off of what you are in a relationship. We're not gonna base this off of your looks. If I want to do looks, then that's stupid. I'm gonna base it off of how good I think y'all are in a relationship. Based off of how much did y'all argue? How much did y'all interrupt? Mm -hmm. How good were you in conversation? How um. How much are you able to listen and learn new things? All those things are very attractive features to men. So that's what this number is about to be based on. And also, because once again, we're looking at this from the man's point of view of a relationship, age is going to be a factor. Age is something that is a big deal to men. So your age is going to affect your number as well. Um, and if you have kids, that would affect this. Anybody here have kids? No. No? You do? No. Just one? Okay. Um, all right. So we'll start with you. Um, I don't oh. want a number unless I can't give you one. So that's the best part of the show. <laughs> you get to give me one back. <laughs> okay, no, I, after I give everybody one, y'all get to give me one back, and then y'all are going to give me a critique for the show and last thoughts. Okay. Um, uh, to start with you, um, how old are you again? I'm 22. 22. Um, honestly, I would give you like a th Probably like a three. And I'm going to tell you why, though. The only reason is is interrupting attitude. You have a lot of masculine features. And do, now, could you possibly put all that shit down really quick? Yes. If the I right guys. No. <laughs> Let's think about that. Let's okay. She's a two that. chat. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Give me a one. I want the lowest motherfucking number well, possible. Well, well, I don't want none well, of these well, 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 I'd like to also ask is, do you even want a relationship? I do not. I okay, do not so, like the dating pool today. So, so, so I always ask people that because if you don't even want one, I'm automatically giving you a one because the reason why you're in the energy, the reason why you're acting where you are, the reason why all that stuff is because you just don't even want one. Right. So like, and that's why I said you could probably change to a completely different person the day you wake up and you want one. Mm -hmm. So that's why like it just, I, like I can't even really judge a lot, you know? Um, for you, um, you're really quiet and meek and just like, uh, innocent, I guess. I, I didn't get to learn too much about you, but you listen a lot. And I think that that's just a really good feature in itself. You're young. So you get a, you're like, you're going to get a high number just because you're young and you have a lot of sexual market value right now at your age. Um, I would probably give you like a seven. Um, and that's just because, yeah, I, I think that you'd actually probably be a decent girlfriend. Like, uh, and remember guys, five is average. If I give you all five, it's because you're an average relationship. You're not a bad relationship. You're just an average relationship. You're a little bit above average in a relationship in my eyes for you. Um, I, I kind of see uh, y'all are pretty similar. Y'all hang out together a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I can tell. Um, y'all are both really similar. Um, I would actually give you like the same number, like, I uh, and, and see, uh, like, um, what do they always say? Uh. Uh, birds of, uh, birds, birds, birds of, birds of flock together. So, yeah. So that's why y'all are so close. Um, women, if y'all are spending time with ratchet, horrible girls, it's going to make you just like that too. But since y'all are spending time together, y'all are probably going to be able to work off each other and keep each other in a really 
good relationship mindset, I guess you could say. But I think y'all both have a lot of potential. I also like to just look over and just see when people are nodding and when they're paying attention. Y'all were both really good about that. Like y'all are paying attention a lot and listening very well. Very valuable stuff. Um, for you, um, honestly, I give you like a pretty good number. Uh, what? How old were you again? You know, it's funny. 28. <laughs> so that's honestly the only thing that kind of puts you down is that um because I, I i like your humility uh i think that you were very honest i think you were very good at listening also you didn't interrupt a lot mm -hmm. those are all really good features like i'm not gonna let just your age kind of take you down like honestly you're still a six or a seven in my eyes and i think that you have potential to get a really good guy you just need to you know um at that age you just got to try a little bit harder so i like to say that because pussy's so devalued today because so many y'all might not do it but other girls give it out too too freely that sometimes a woman has to chase the man that she wants kind of like we were saying you gotta watch that guy you got a relationship that's a relationship guy sometimes you got to pursue the guy you want and for you that's the only advice i would give is you might want you might need to pursue the guy that you want at your age and stuff but if you get in there you do the right things you can possibly lock them in um for you I've given you a lot of advice. Um, I really like a lot of things about you. That's why I brought you back on the show. I felt like you were good relationship material, and that's why I wanted you on for that dating show. Um, I would still give you a solid eight, I think. Um, just be prepared, like I always say, is to lower those standards possibly. One of the things I like to say, ladies, is sometimes like if you're looking for the six-foot guy, maybe drop a couple inches off. If you're looking for the guy that makes 100K a year, maybe drop it down to 60 or something. Um, but, yeah, like that. Alex season. Yeah, y'all can go find him after the show. <laughs> Thank you for the five, bro. Uh, but yeah, uh, otherwise, you're, yeah, you're, you're in a good position too. I, you're just older. So like right. I told her, you know, you got to pursue. But um, I, I think that y'all are both going to be okay as long as you just do it quick and you don't fuck it up while you're doing it. Um, for you. Put me on, Sergio. <laughs> I'm gonna be, Keep it on to the streets. She's still oh, so tough. argumentative, bro. Like you're still so Not argumentative. Even. Yes, today you're still argumentative. She, she was I'm going to be today, though. I'm gonna be chill you. for my man. Though. I'll give I'll, I'll give you a, I'll man. give you a six this time, and and this like it's time. I definitely I definitely <laughs> think that you would be way higher if you uh you're just very masculine sometimes, man. You gotta just like realize like let the man be the fucking man. It's like sometimes so, y'all y'all don't y'all don't hang out with her as much as I do. She's yeah, like she like like she's bad. Don't do that. She <laughs> a baddie though. Yeah. No, but uh, otherwise, um, I would love for you to actually come back and do the dating show, possibly. You know, even though you're only a six, uh, like I still want you to come back on the dating show and still see if I'm any of these guys six. want you. All right, she's a she's a seven, guys. Well, uh, for for you, um, I honestly see you as up there, and the reason why is because you're really honest. You listen really good. You didn't interrupt. You you said that you would be ever be understanding if you weren't hearing about it uh, from a high value guy if he was getting a lot of play from other girls, and that's definitely like the biggest thing some women need to understand sometimes today, especially if you want to date a black man. Um, so like, I, I give you like an eight, like Thank at you. least. Um, and, and you were, and you were out of town though. Yeah. And, and how old were you though? I'm 26. Yeah. And so like, yeah, you're still an eight, even at 26. Um, I would just like the same advice to give everybody possibly drop off some interest, possibly go down on some income if you need to um, just, and just be prepared to uh, chase the guy possibly if you have to, you know, that's the only thing for, for y'all tall girls. Um, <laughs> I, I feel like y'all are in a whole different type of issue. Like, but at the same time, I feel like also, because for me personally, if I'm thinking about having kids, I would like a tall girl because then we'll have tall mm -hmm. kids. And if I have a tall son, he's not going to struggle in the dating marketplace. Like a lot of these guys are today. Mm -hmm. So if you find the right tall guy, you might be in a really good situation compared to other people in 20, 30 years. Might have that's some athletes. Awesome. Yes, about. yes, yeah. Actually, some some like influencers or something. Right? <laughs> uh, what about you? Uh, this is all just age. Like, I honestly think that you listen so good. You're willing to learn. You were doing really good. Like, I could tell that you've experienced a lot and you learned about a lot and you're willing to be like a really good woman for the right guy. Like, you're not going to let your past damages fuck up your future. That's a huge deal. And because of that alone, I'm giving you a five almost. Most women at your age, I'm giving a two or three, just being honest. But because you're so smart and you're actually like, I think that you could like really be a benefit to a guy while also like not being a pain in the ass to him. <laughs> I really like, because most women at your age, being honest, they're argumentative. They're not, they're going to be so masculine from working so many years that they're not going to be a good girl. I don't see that in you. I don't know why. I just don't see it in you. So I will give you a solid five. I think that you do have a chance of finding a really good guy if you do what I, the advice that I gave to the other women, you know, which is just what most women have to do today if you're getting to a certain point. Um, for you, you're like a four. And the only reason is the interrupting. That's the only reason. That's the, are, are you, are, are, do you have ADHD? 
That's crazy. I'm just wondering because it's a it's a very normal thing for people with ADHD to uh, to, to have to interrupt a lot, huh? No, sir. Okay, well, I was just That's wondering. That's crazy. It's, it's, not a, it's not a bad thing. Like, it's a, it's a very normal thing. Like, it's not bad at all. I had a few girls on a few shows that were ADHD, and they admit to me, oh, yeah, that's why I couldn't stop myself. But, yeah, um, that's the only thing I think that – are. do you even want a relationship? Yeah. Yeah, you do? Okay, just making sure just because, like I said, some people sometimes don't even want one, you know. But, um, yeah, I definitely would still give you, like, a, a four or a five. I'm sorry if that was offensive. But uh, your, your age gives you a good value. But, yeah, it's just personality sometimes. Um. Now I'll let y'all, or let me read these super chats really quick and then y'all can come back at me. Go up to the top one. Is that the newest one? Uh, we went over the... Ombre, the... Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Oh, Alex. Yeah, we already did the Alex one, ladies. Why are you arguing so hard to act single if you are in a relationship? Uh, yeah. Why are you... Why, why are you arguing so hard to act single if you're in a relationship? What do you mean? I'm confused. Yeah, who's in a relationship? They make it make sense. said that when we were talking about what you're going to give up versus what you're not. So they're saying, why are you trying to act so hard? Like, why are you fighting so hard to do single shit if you're trying to be in a relationship? Oh, okay. Okay. I get what he's saying. Yeah, I was I was out of context. All I right. Um, but yeah, 